This video will demonstrate the length extraction functionality included within RST Simulate. I'm going to demonstrate this by firstly creating a twisted wire pair cable from the two highlighted wires here. Now that the cable has been created, I'm going to use the simulator to specify a number of properties required. These are the length of the wire, its unit resistance, the unit capacitance, the unit inductance and the number of stages required for this model. What I'm going to do now is export a subset of this, this design from RSD into Pro Engineer. Now that I've exported the subset of this, of this model, we can move into Pro Engineer and as we can see here, I already have an assembly made up of two connector blocks and a terminal. These connector blocks match the connectors within the RSD design. And all I need to do now is to import the logical information we previously exported. I'll firstly ensure that the two connectors have been correctly designated. And as we can see here, both connector blocks have been correctly designated. Now all I need to do is to create the cable. And we're going to create this from the logical information. And all that's left to do now is to route this cable. And as you can see here, the cable has now been routed between pins 1 and 2 of each connector block, which correctly matches what we have previously set up within the RSD design. If I now show you the length of this cable, we can see it is set to 142.5 millimeters. And if we just save this design, this assembly off, and close down Pro Engineer, we can move back into the simulator. And if I now tell the simulator to extract this information from Pro Engineer, the simulator will automatically open up Pro Engineer with that assembly, and will extract the correct information related to the length. And as we can see here, we have a correct output for this simulation. If we look at the twisted wire pair length, we can see it matches the length we previously discovered within Pro Engineer of 142.5 millimeters. And what I can show you now is if we make a alteration to the unit capacitance and the length of the cable, we can rerun the simulation to show the effects of this. To alter the length, what I'm going to do is to move one of the connector blocks within Pro Engineer and automatically allow the cable to follow And as you can see here, the cable has automatically followed the connector to its new position and is still routed correctly between pins 1 and 2 on both connectors. If we now move back to the simulator, we can rerun the simulation without making any further alterations. And the simulator will again go into Pro Engineer and re-extract the length information from that cable and pull it back into the simulator. And as you can see here, there has been a dr quite a dramatic change in the outputs we have for the simulation. And you can see the two differences here. And again, if we go into the simulator, we can see that the length is now just over one meter, and we can confirm this within Pro Engineer. 
and as we can see here the two lengths match. That concludes the dem this video demonstration of the length extraction within RST Simulate.